Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this Apple logo reveal animation without using any third party plugin but with the help of Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects. And don't forget to check out my Udemy courses, links are available in the description. And as always if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator, we have created this document over here, height and width is 1920 by 180. Then I have this Apple logo which is in the PNG format and then I am going to simply import this logo over here like this. Then as you guys can see we have a PNG format but still it looks like the box so we need to get rid of it. So simply select this logo and over here you will get this option known as image trace so simply click on it and after that click on this expand icon so you will get something like this. Now I'll select this right click and choose ungroup so now it will ungroup all of this then we have this extra background element so simply delete it we have this element so simply delete it so now we have these two layers over here now select those layers hit ctrl c to copy create a new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste in place and this is going to be my main logo so i'll call it this layer as main logo and the second layer i'm going to call it as stroke because this is going to be stroke so let's delete uh, not delete but hide this first main logo and now we will select this layer and over here i am going to delete this fill and i am going to add stroke over here like this and let's increase the stroke width somewhere around like 6 pixels okay so hit ctrl 0 to make this fit and uh, if you see we have this logo and then we have this stroke now i am going to save this file and then i am going to go in my adobe after effects uh, then create a new composition and we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action like this then i am going to press ctrl i to import my illustrator file i have this illustrator file over here footage composition written layers and sizes and simply hit import so we will get this composition over here and simply move this over here so as you guys can see our logo is ready so let's double click over here and right now the project name is untitled one so simply hit ctrl k to open the project settings and i'm going to call it as logo animation and hit ok now press ctrl k again to open the project settings and background color i'm going to choose white color so we can see this properly now as you guys can see we have main logo over here and this stroke so first we need to animate this stroke so right click go to the create and create shape from vector layer and simply delete this layer so now what will happen we will get this stroke layer as you guys can see we don't have fill and we have stroke which is six pixels now we will go to the add menu and we are going to choose trim path over here so choose that trim path let's go to around one second over here and go to the trim path and let's make this initial value zero at the end create one keyframe and go to around three second and let's make this hundred or let's go to around four seconds and let's make this hundred so now if you see this animation we will get something like this then enable this main logo layer over here and first of all select those keyframes and hit f9 so uh, if you hide this you will get this kind of trim path animation and let's minimize it now i'm going to create one ellipse and this time i don't want any stroke so let's delete this stroke and let's by holding shift let's create one ellipse which is going to cover our main logo select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and then go to around one second select this press s let's make this zero create one keyframe then go to around four second and let's increase the size of it somewhere around like this now select this shape layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for turbulence displace effect to apply and increase the amount and decrease the size up to 50 like this okay so what will happen if you enable this icon you will get this kind of animation okay now select the shape layer hit enter and let's call this layer as mask and hit ok then go to the start 
and select this main logo and choose alpha mouse now select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see this animation now you will get something like this simply move this mask over here so we will get this kind of animation reveal so if i see this animation we will get something like this now let's go to the main animation layer select this logo press f4 to enable this 3d icon and convert this layer into 3d and press r so as you guys can see you can rotate this layer in 3d format then go to around one second and we will create let's say uh we will let's go somewhere around over here and we need to rotate it somewhere on let's say x axis like this so let's make this minus 90 and let's go somewhere around one second and create one keyframe at x then or uh, let's make this zero only uh, create one keyframe then go to around six second i mean four second and let's make this one so if i see this animation i'll get something like this okay and let's move this layer up to three second maybe and let's see we will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see this animation now you will get something like this so let's move this to four seconds maybe now select those keyframes go to the graph editor right click and make sure to choose edit speed graph select this by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and i'll move this handle over here like this okay yeah now uh, our this animation is ready over here now select this uh, and or let's press ctrl y to create one solid background layer and hit ok and let's go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp effect and apply this gradient ramp and select the start ramp and move this anchor point over here select this end ramp and move this anchor point over here then right click new and create one adjustment layer and search for mosaic effect and simply double click to apply and increase the uh you know horizontal blocks to 60 like this then select both the layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as uh, ramp and hit ok and let's hide this now select this logo animation layer which if you see we have this 3d animation select this uh, press ctrl shift c and let's call it as logo only and hit ok now select this logo go to the effect and presets panel and search for time displacement effect and double click to apply if you see we are getting some weird stuff and over here i'm going to select this ram so if i see this animation from the start i'll get this kind of uh, animation over here like this and let's go over here let's select this and let's make this 50 or let's say 40 and let's see this thing now okay uh, let's go to this ramp again select this uh, let's move this uh, anchor point over here and this anchor point over here like this and now let's see this animation okay so this is how we will get this now select both the layers press ctrl shift c and we will call it as logo in capital letters and hit ok now select this logo and hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this layer right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project select this logo and hit ctrl d and by holding alt i am going to replace it now double click to open this select this logo right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project uh, hit ctrl d and by holding alt i am going to replace it now double click to open this select this logo animation right click reveal reveal layer in source project hit ctrl d and by holding alt i'll replace it now double click to open this now over here you will get this animation but we don't want all of this so we will delete this main logo and mask i'll select this i'll hit u and i'm going to remove that trim path animation also we don't need that okay so if i see or i think uh, we don't need to remove the trim path we will stick with the trim path only but we don't want that fill animation over here okay so now what we are going to do i will go to somewhere around 15 frames and i'll select this logo and i'll move this over here so first i'll get this uh, logo or let's move this to 10 frames or let's uh, try with 5 frames now select this hit ctrl d select this and move this over here 
okay so we, as you guys can see we are getting something like this now select this second layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect to apply and instead of this color i'm going to choose somewhere around grayish now select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here and apply this fill effect and over here i'm going to choose something like neonic green okay now select this hit ctrl d and move this to somewhere around over here and let's delete this fill okay we don't want that <laughs> so now if i see this animation i'll get something like this okay let's make this full resolution and it will take a little bit time to load so let's choose this half resolution okay so this is our basic animation is ready now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as normal size and hit ok and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's hide this one now select this first um, one uh, hit enter and we'll let's call it as large size and hit ok now press s and let's make this 200 or i think 200 is going to be too much so let's make this 150 now uh, i'm going to select one rectangle and i'm going to create one rectangle like this select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press r for rotation and rotate it like this okay select this and pr sorry uh, select this and press f4 and let's make this alpha mask okay and enable this normal size now now uh, go somewhere around over here i'm going to select this mask press p for position uh, and create one keyframe then i'll go somewhere around over here and i'll move this layer from here to here okay so if i see this along with this i'll get this kind of reflection and if you want then you can move this a little bit somewhere around over here you can select this layer and you can bring this a little bit backwards so it will animate this portion first so if i see this stuff i'll get something like this let's enable this and let's see where it is i think it is coming from very long so i'll move this over here only like this let's move this a little bit over here okay now select this and let's bring both of them at the backwards like this and select this press t for opacity and let's make this 10 okay then press ctrl y to create one solid background layer and let's bring this backward and hit u then right click new and create one adjustment layer now uh, select this adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for lens flare effect and double click to apply so you will get something like this and i'll move this lens flare initially over here and then i'm going to create one keyframe at flare center hit u go somewhere around over here and i'm going to move this from here to here okay so if i see this stuff now along with this i'll get this kind of stuff and at this point i'll create one keyframe at flare brightness then i'll go over here and i'll make this value zero so if i see this stuff now i'll get this kind of animation okay so this is how you can create any kind of logo reveal animation inside of after effects